I wanted to ask you about John von Neumann and his paper, The Computer and the Brain, because it seems quite timely to me right now with the debates around artificial intelligence and everything we've seen really from the beginning of this year really come out into the public space and start becoming debated. Now we have the writer's strike in, uh, yeah. in Hollywood, of which AI has taken uh, uh, center stage in, that, uh, in those discussions. So um, what's, uh, why did you find that, that paper, The Computer and the Brain, and what, what is that? Mm-hmm. Von Neumann is okay. So the book is my book on DARPA is called The Pentagon's Brain. And John von Neumann about AI in that paper that I found. And that is he was working at the time. Um, his story is so interesting and complex, and he deserves his own, you know, hours and hours and hours. But to answer your question about AI, he was at the Princeton Institute for Advanced Study, and Einstein was also there. And he was developing a computer which would become known as ENIAC, right? It was the first, essentially the first post-war computer that could, that was greater than, you know, like what we think of as a Texas Instruments computer. And he developed this in the basement and it was under contract from the AEC, the Atomic Energy Commission, because they wanted to try and learn how to forecast weather. Weather is so important to war, right? But he, in working on that, developed this idea that one day a computer could think. And there's a little story that he tells, which I retell as part of that paper, and I tell it in the Pentagon's brain, where he he programmed this whole computer to add, right, to calculate. And he was so smart that in the beginning he could beat the computer, right? So he, he could he, he would he would do the math in his head and write it down, and his assistant would do, be doing it on the computer, and he would win. And he was teaching the computer, you know, to to he was essentially creating software is what he was doing, and after some months the computer beat him the computer mm. could calculate faster than he could which led him to writing this very prescient philosophical treatise about how one day the computer would be able to actually think yeah gosh and here we are 